Commercial fishermen have been taking advantage of that 32-hour opening on the Fraser River. They're filling their nets with sockeye salmon even more than they can perhaps process. 25 million fish are expected to return to the Fraser this year. It's the best run in a century after a near-complete collapse. And the Department of Fisheries is still trying to figure out what happened last year. The Inquiry Commission looking at that was in Campbell River last night and has been touring island fish farms today. A News reporter Gord Kerbis has the story. They've been unloading throughout the day in Campbell River. Commercial fishermen are reaping the rewards of a highly successful fish run. Well, the fishing's been uh, very good. We've waited years for this, four years for this. We haven't made money like this for quite a few years, maybe 15, 20 years or something. There is a lot of fish, yeah. You could catch them anywhere, probably. Throughout BC's waters, fishermen are netting in sockeye from a run that's estimated to be around 25 million strong. Many fishermen say they understand fish stocks come in cycles, and this is an up year, way up. But despite that, this man, Justice Bruce Cohen, is heading up a commission that's touring the province to find out why the fish count was so low last year. It's been really interesting to uh, hear what the community has to say. Um, we've done two of these so far. This is our second one. We were in Lillooet last week. We'll be in Prince Rupert next week. We're really excited at how many people are interested in, in helping us try and figure out what's going on with the sockeye. This morning, Cohen and several members of the commission and staff took a trip out to visit fish farms on the east coast of Quadra Island. It is quite ironic that the time we come here, there's, uh, there's so much fishing going on. It's great that, that the fishery has returned in such abundance this year, but our mandate stays the same. Many point the finger to the decline on BC's fish farms, but the industry's association says they are not to blame. It's ocean productivity. I think it's um, the competition in the North um, Pacific for feed from the amount of ranch salmon that are coming from Alaska, from Japan, and from Russia. And then changing ocean conditions with rising temperatures, I think also over the long term has effect. Although most commercial fishermen are happy with the larger catches this year, there's also a great deal of anger. Few wanted to appear on camera to voice their concerns, but I'm told there's a great deal of resentment towards the Department of Fisheries and Oceans. Complaints the department knew a long time ago that this was going to be a huge year for the industry. Yet they started the season too late and set the quotas too low. The obvious signs were there, and the fisheries uh, were very reluctant to recognize them and to act accordingly and it's only when it was so obvious that they reacted. This fisherman who did not want to give his name for fear of retribution from DFO says the agency is relying too much on computers, charts and biologists instead of consulting the people who know the fish best, the fishermen. I, I wish they had smartened up. They've got this mentality that the only way the fish can survive is massive overspots. The fishing fleet continues at work along BC coastal waters tonight. In Campbell River, Gord Kerbis, A News.